Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're previewing the 2024 Stanley Cup playoff match between the Edmonton Oilers and the LA Kings. So hop right into us today with the playoff history between these two teams as of recent. Starting off back in 2022, they played in the first round with the Edmonton Oilers winning in seven games. 2023, once again, round, round one. This time it was a six-game series where the Edmonton Oilers took it. This year, you know, we get the three-peat, right? Three years in a row of round one play between these two teams. So there is a little bit of a rivalry there. Lots to play for and really trying to make your mark, especially in this rivalry series of looking to players to see who's going to step up, who's going to take their team to the next level. You always sort of look to those key players on each team, the, the so-called stars, but it's really who steps up that might be sort of that X factor, but we'll get to them in just a little bit. We'll start here now, once again, with the who's been playing and how they've been looking this year. We started on December 30th with a 3-2 shootout victory for the Edmonton Oilers on February the 10th was a 4-0 victory for the LA Kings. The 26th was a 4-2 victory for the Oilers and on March 28th the most recent game between these two teams a 4-1 victory for the Edmonton Oilers so you can sort of see you know there is a little bit of recency bias here you got to give the advantage as of this point to the Edmonton Oilers especially looking at sort of the playoff history you know the, the team hasn't changed that much in my opinion the Oilers have gotten a lot better they sort of bolstered up that veteran side and we saw that both this trade deadline the last trade deadline you know they're just trying to get players that have sort of been there who've done that who know what their expectations are going into a deep playoff run and that's what the Oilers are really really good at this year but we'll get to that in just one more second with starting here now look at the injuries for both teams so starting here with Carl Grunstam for the LA Kings and he's sort of that bottom six forward but he plays a physical game and he's really one of the guys who I'll look to as we get to the X factors that are really sort of make a mark in this series they can get him back and it sort of appears he'll be likely game one or game two back might be a huge pickup for the for the LA Kings and really someone that can change a series. So for me, he's one guy that I want to look at as well. So well, uh, Phoenix Copley is out for the LA Kings. He's injured, so goaltending problems might be a, might be an issue there. But he hasn't played that much this year, so not a problem for the LA Kings in that sense. As well for the Edmonton Oilers with a Vander Kane, he's day to day expected to be back for Game One, so shouldn't be too much of a problem there. He's another guy I'm looking to really make a mark in this series who might not be expected to make such a big mark. For me, he's a player I really want to look at. So take now a look at the X factors. I sort of already touched on Grundstrom. He's a guy that's going to play that physical style, has the ability to turn a series around so he's one of the guys i'm really looking for as well as andreas england this is a guy it's sort of that physical type defenseman who in front of the net is going to bully out players like you know zach hyman or or evander kane whoever might be in front of the net on that net front presence he's going to be an important part of getting those players out of the net probably won't play that much in this playoffs but the minutes that he is in will be crucial for the la kings if they want to be successful my last one here for the la kings is philip to just seems like whenever Deneau can play in the playoffs, he's just a different breed. Regular season numbers haven't been too good this year, you know, 50-ish points. But at the same time, when it comes to the playoffs, Deneau is a different, different player. So when we look at it, Deneau, for me, is going to be a player to really look for at this in this series, whether or not he can really take his game to the next level and help the LA Kings to, to do a relatively big upset here. I think the majority of people are taking the Edmonton Oilers. So when we look at it, you know, the, the, the Kings have to sort of make a make, make a stand here against a, a tough Oilers team. As well, now let's take a look at the Edmonton Oilers. So there's the obvious candidates, you know, you could have your, your dry Seidels, your McDavid's, your Nugent Hopkins, the players that you know are going to put up points. But for me, I'm looking at some of the other players that might make a real big difference in this series. One of them is Corey Perry. And we look at it, you know, he's a player, not necessarily your high scorer like he once was, but if Corey Perry can get going at the right time, he is a dangerous player to play against, especially in a playoffs where we've seen it time and time again. He's just that solid player who knows what to do when 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 the when the moment's on him, right? So for the for the Edmonton Oilers, I'm looking at a guy like Corey Perry to really take that next step and help the Oilers, not just in this series, but in future series as if they can make it to really set the, set their team apart and use that veteran experience that he has to help so not just him, but also the young guys in, in sort of making the team better. So well, we're going to take a look at the second guy here with Zach Hyman. He's a player that sort of gets overshadowed a little bit by McDavid and Dreisaitl, but he's still a 50-goal scorer. He's a player that sort of slides under the radar. He's a player I'm really looking for to not just play that physical game like we're so used to seeing him play, but also, you know, just being able to get into the right spots, put the puck in the back of the net, which 
is which is so great at, especially playing alongside a guy like McDavid. It's going to be a crucial part to the Edmonton Oilers' success. And the last one here is Evander Kane. Always seems like there's something going on with Kane. So when we look at it, especially in a playoff series where it's all about getting under the other team's skin, I'm looking at a guy like Evander Kane to really set the Oilers apart in this one. We'll be interesting to see how they do there. We'll look at, take a look now at the keys to success for both teams, starting off with the LA Kings, is defense first. When we look at it, these two teams are very, very opposite. We have the Edmonton Oilers, who I believe are top five, I think, in scoring. And the, and the defense side, the goals against, is top five for the LA Kings. So we have two teams on very opposite spectrums here. So for the LA Kings, keeping the puck out of the back of the net will be crucial for them. As well as be disciplined. Do not take any bad penalties. The Oilers have one of the best power plays in the league, especially when it's hot. So we look at it, if you're the LA Kings, avoid taking bad penalties, but still play that chippy game that you're used to playing. Because at the end of the day, if you don't play a chippy game, the Oilers will run all over you. But still remain disciplined. Don't give them any bad penalties, any ba any easy power play goals. Because at the end of the day, they will capitalize on it. As well as love it or list it. So for the LA Kings, they don't really have an advantage in terms of home ice or away ice. They were pretty even in the regular season. But on the other side of it, there's the Edmonton Oilers, who are the top, who is who's second, tied for second in points on home ice. So when we look at it, you know, team that plays better on home ice has home ice advantage. You might have to list it. You might have to get it back onto your home ice and get get it there. But at the same time, you know, the LA Kings aren't really looking to be on home ice, not necessarily their home ice advantage per se, but at the same time, in terms of trying to get away from the Edmonton home ice might be a big part in the series. As well, as I just talked about it, home ice for the Edmonton Oilers, they're trying to be on home ice as best they can. They have the advantage. If they can play to seven, then they're going to have all four. So when we look at it, the trick to the Edmonton Oilers is staying on home ice, using their home crowd, and we'll see sort of what goes on there. And the second key to success for the Edmonton Oilers is score, like a lot. Like, you know, put puck in the back of the net a lot. That's the key to success for the Edmonton Oilers. Their goal is to put as many pucks in the back of the net as possible. And if they can do that, it doesn't really matter what goes on on their defensive side because they're able to open up the game, really play a, an offensive-minded game. I think there's no reason why the Edmonton Oilers can't take this series. As well as the experience factor. We've seen it time and time again with the Edmonton Oilers. They're slowly but surely building up their, their veteran core and, you know, we've seen it this year, especially with this team. You know, you sort of look at some of the key names. You guys, we sort of talked about it with Perry and Kane. And then you also have a couple other guys in Eckholm. And you have all these other players that have been there, who've done that. And just adding to that veteran core of what they already are starting to build into, right? McDavid's getting up there as well. So when we look at it, you know, the trick to the Edmonton Oilers is using their experience and using their ability to put the puck in the back of the net to their advantage. And if they do that, there's no reason why they won't be able to win this series. So we'll take a look now at the matchups. And we look at it sort of a comparison. I got to give it to the offense for the, for the Edmonton Oilers. Just their depth is off the chart. Scoring on all three lines. The fourth line, once again, sort of gets goals when they need to. That's going to be the trick for the Edmonton Oilers is putting the puck in the back of the net. You look to your offensive players. In my opinion, you know, the Edmonton Oilers have that advantage. The other way, the defense for the LA Kings, it's going to be crucial for them. And they do have the advantage on the defensive side, as well as the goalies. I gave Cam Talbot the little bit of an advantage over Skinner just by this year's numbers. I mean, it's hard to make the argument for Skinner just looking at it. But at the same time, both goalies are so evenly matched. And I even argue that the defense... The defense is a little bit better for the LA Kings, but not as much as it might seem. So when we look at it, my overall, I'm going to have to give it to the Edmonton Oilers in six games. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you like to through subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the Edmonton Oilers versus LA Kings. Until next time, see you.